Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are Belita Satellus. This is an agaric. Oh, that is a gorgeous specimen though. Feels really, really good. Those are chanterelles. Welcome to another episode of Utah Mushroom Hunter. Uh, today I'm actually up in northern uh, Utah. I'm in Cache County and I'm looking for Bleed Acetylus. Uh, it's been super wet this last week. I'm looking in an area where there were a few Bleed Acetylus that have been found in the area. And so I'm expecting to find some good ones today. I really hope that we do. Anyway, uh, let's get going. Let's see if we can find some of these Bleed Acetylus. Not sure what this is. Let's take a look. Oh, definitely not something we're interested in. Well, look what we found here. This is a Rosola. Rosolas often have that red cap or colorful cap, white gills, no vulva, and their stem. When you break it, it just it's kind of brittle and breaks like chalk. This one's kind of old. But uh, that is definitely a Rosola. Not one that you want to eat. I'll just leave that one alone. Oh, there's some more mushrooms. Uh, these don't look like eaters either. Yeah. Not sure what those are. But those are definitely not what we, something we want to eat. But what I am loving is that it is super mushroomy out here. There are a lot of mushrooms. So I'm super confident that we're gonna find us a king today. And not only that, I, I'm super hopeful we might find some other edible mushrooms as well. It would be amazing if we found some chanterelles up here. Got something right here. Let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. There is our first Bolita Satellus. That is just a button, just barely starting to come up. Woohoo! First Bolita Satellus of the year. That'll be yummy. By the way, the way, reason why I know this is a Bolita Satellus is by number one, that bulbous base, that bulbous stem. That is a trademark of the uh, Bolita Satellus. And if you look under there, it's really hard to see because this is such a young one. But it's pores under there. It's not um, gills. And then the coloration, of course, helps as well. Definitely a bleed satellite. Okay, I found something here. This could be a chanterelle. That very well could be. That would be my first chanterelles of the season. Look at that. Those are chanterelles. Woohoo! Look at that. First chanterelles of the season. Those are wonderful. One of the ways you can tell a chanterelle is because of that orange coloring and the way those gills come down on the stem. But those are definitely chanterelles. That's amazing. So happy to find those. These are actually more chanterelles, but they're just so little, I'm just gonna leave them. So these chanterelles, they are a fall mushroom. And we're just getting into the time of the year that those start popping. And I don't know why, but I usually don't find those so much in the high Uintas. I usually gotta go up in the north into Cache County to find those. But uh, those are beautiful. Got a good friend of mine too that went down to the Boulder Mountains and found some beautiful, beautiful chanterelles. They were much bigger and uh, were just really, really pretty. Okay, we got something interesting here. What is this? Doesn't look like it's gonna be an, one that I want. That looks like another Rosola, most likely. Not interested in these. There's one there. There's another one right there. So we got four of them right here. I'll leave those alone. 
Look at that. That is a coral mushroom. Another one over there. It's, they're part of the Romeria family. And I leave those alone as well. Even though there's some decent edibles within the Romeria, there's so many that are very close to each other that cause digestional problems. I just leave those alone. But they are pretty to look at. That one's a young one still. I think I am feeling like I'm a little bit early here. Um, if I were here a week later, and if it continues to get moisture, which the, the uh, weather forecast doesn't give me a lot of hope of that, but if it continued to rain a week from now would be absolutely incredible. But we're still gonna find some amazing stuff today. I already have. I'm hoping to find some more mature uh, Belita Saddlers that aren't wormed out yet, but we'll see what I can find. All right, coming up on something interesting here. Look at this. Oh, you know what this is? Oh my goodness. This is an agaric. Beautiful agaric. Okay, I do the little scratch test on it. I don't see any yellowing. Oh my goodness. Those are like, those are gonna be so stinking yummy. And they look like, it looks like I got them at the perfect age as well. Beautiful agarics. Now, the reason why I know this is an agaric is because the gills are pink. You got this, you can tell by looking at that stem too. There's the bottom, the veil uh, from when it was young. No yellow staining. You got the pink gills with that white cap. Uh, I mean, it looks a little bit yellow there on the top, which is no problem at all. That's going to be a delicious, delicious agaric. How fun. There's another couple of Rosullas. One over there too. I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of those today. All right, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a couple big mushrooms up here. There's one right there and then there's one over there let's see what these are oh my goodness this is definitely not one you want to eat but that is an amanita amanita muscaria variety i cannot believe the different variety of mushrooms we're finding today and a harvest well i'm not going to take it with me i'm going to leave it here but I am going to uh, dig it out so you can see what it is. So the reason why I already know it's an Amanita is you, you look at these, this color that's on it right here. You got the orange in there, which is very typical for the Amanita muscaria that we find here in Utah. And you see all the, the scabbing on the top, the, the flakes. Let's see if I can dig this out so you can see the vulva and everything. Oh, there's a young one right there too. Okay, so you look at this. Oh, that is a gorgeous specimen though. Holy cow, look at that. Amanita muscari, you can see how much character is in that mushroom. That is just gorgeous. Then the vulva is right here. You can, it's kind of hard to see that it's there. And there's a little baby growing right next to it as well. So this mushroom is filled with toxins and uh, my recommendation is just to leave it alone. Do not eat this mushroom. But gorgeous, gorgeous specimen. Now if I were to take, uh, if this were to open up a little bit more, if we looked at those gills, they'd be white, white. And the spore print would be white as well. But we'll leave that here. All right, so these are the other mushrooms close by that are huge. This doesn't look like a bleed acetylus. I don't know what this is gonna be. Let's see what this is. Oh my goodness. They are bleed acetylus. 
they look so gray on the top but look at that oh my gosh that is fun holy cow i did not expect that that's a whole cluster of bletus and look how young they are they're going to be perfect eating these are all pushed up by the uh all this recent rainfall this last week so these are gorgeous gorgeous yummy yummy bletus atlas oh i'm excited about these these are going to be delicious See, you can see the bulbous base under here. You don't have the gills. They're, they're young still, but they're going to be pores. See the striations, the coloration on the side of the mushroom? That is very typical of a bleedus atlas. I did not think these were going to be bleedus, but they absolutely are. They're just young. Those are gorgeous. Fun, fun find. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh, that is, that's the, that may be the funnest cluster of Bleedus atlas I've ever found because of the way they're growing up with each other. That is fun. There's the other side of it. You can see those two are just perfect. That's what I was showing you earlier. But you turn these around. Oh, those are just fun. This all by itself, this mushroom right here all by itself made this trip worth it. Look at this mushroom I just found. This is growing off a log. And I think this one's going to be a Neolintus populanus. I found some of those uh, recently in some of my other videos. But this one looks just choice and perfect condition. Let me double check though. Need to turn it over. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it feels really, really good. Look at that. All right, so yep, that is a Neolintus populanus. Uh, some people call it a sawtooth because of the uneven gills that are under there. This is not an agaric. It's not an amanita and not a rosella. This is Neolintus populanus, and this will be a delicious mushroom. I'm catching it at the perfect time. These rains have really brought these mushrooms out. That is a fun one. A lot of rosella. I'm showing you this spot because there's a kind of a cluster of them. See, there's a little one there. I don't know why it's up on the log. And then some over there as well. A lot of rosella in this area. Not sure what this is going to be. Could be another agaric. Could be a blue settlus. Could be an amanita. That is another agaric. Wonderful. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I'm just over 8,000 feet in elevation. But that is another yummy agaric. That's great. So this one's interesting. I'm not sure what this is. Oh my goodness. This is a bleedus, not a natalis. Yeah, you know what? I This is the first time I've ever found this particular variety. And I haven't identified this. I might have to... Oh, look at that blue staining. Yeah, I, I've i seen these. Not in person, but I've seen, I've seen people find these. And I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to look this one up. But look at that red um color on the stem there you got the pores and it stains blue super quick so this is one that'll make you super sick i don't think i don't think it'll kill you but this is one that will give you some real digest you know, uh, digestive problems that's a super fine for me look at that woodpecker looking for a meal all right, so I'm standing at this spot, and look at that over there. There's a great big mushroom over there, which I'll check out here in just a second. And over here is a mushroom. This one I can already tell just by because uh, I'm closer that this is a Belita satellus, a king mushroom. Yay, and it looks like a good one. Oh, yeah, that's looking fantastic. Oh, that's a good one. 
Let's look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Great big long stem going clear down into the ground. Look at that. That is a Boletus atlas. Oh, that's a long stem. It doesn't have the bulbous stem. I notice that a lot of these here in Utah don't have that. Some of them do, but this is definitely a Boletus atlas. Just cut this in half and see what it looks like inside. Oh, look at that. No worms. That's going to be good. That is the clink king mushroom. Nice. All right, we're going to go check out this other mushroom now. It's huge. Almost looks like it could be a Lachinum insigne. See, and there's aspens right here too, so it probably is. But let's take a peek. Look at that guy. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely an aspen bleat, um, Lachinum insigne. And you can tell by that scabbing. This one's not, I don't like these nowhere near as much as I like the, uh, the king mushrooms, but it's still a really good mushroom. I'll definitely take this one with me. can see it's in really good condition. This one here is definitely an Amanita. This will have those horrible toxins again. You can see the vulva there at the bottom. White gills, it'll have a white spore print. White on top with a little bit of scabbing. That is an Amanita. Do not eat these. Leave these alone. Unless you like or want to have a liver transplant. All right, here's another one. This looks like another Amanita. It definitely is. There we go. White, white gills, a little bit of scabbing on the top. And you can tell there was a vulva there. Leave that alone. Do not eat that one. All right, so here's some more mushrooms. They look like they're, they're gonna be the blue stainers again. Oh no. That is a new variety that I haven't found today yet. That is uh, Suillus. Still, some of these Suillus do stain kind of blue, but uh, this one doesn't look like it, it is. But a Suillus is a, a, a definite edible. I mean, this one is definitely edible. Uh, not my favorite. So I don't, I won't eat these. But see that, it's almost like a honeycomb yellow bottom. That's the trademark of a Suillus. And a lot of people call these like a slippery jack. Um, I'm not going to take these, but uh, definitely, a, a, you know, it's fun to find another variety. A variety I haven't found yet. I can't ever remember the name of these, but these are um, the uh, a fungus that grows on trees that have a, a beetle that's bored into them, or a larva that is, uh, yeah, a beetle. And, um, and the fungus grows out of the hole that they leave. I'll have to look that up uh, and uh, post the name of this thing because I can never remember the name of this mushroom. They're inedible though. They are not good to eat. All right, well, this is what I'm searching and you can see how close I am to the road there. Oh, look at this. There's a Boletus atlas. It is so white. It might even be a Boletus barossi. That's fun. This one is interesting because it's growing sideways. But it is definitely a delicious Boletus atlas. 
Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful. That'll be delicious. So that last one I found, I'm pretty sure it was a Bletus borosi because of how white it was. Um, oh, look at this one. Look at that. You know what this is? Notice how it's growing out of a stump. This one's a little bit more brown on top. But th this is not going to be a Bletus edulis. And it's uh, not a uh, kind of insignia. See, when it's grown out of the stump like that, then you're looking at an oyster or a Neolintus ponderosa usually. And I can recognize already this is going to be a Neolintus ponderosa. Another a good edible. So that's fun. See that this pattern on the top? That's what I recognize it and know it's a Neolintus ponderosa even before I get to it. It's grown on the stump and it's got that pattern. But here, let me pull it off. And again, this is a sawtooth. Now, if you look at that super careful, you can see those sawtooth. It's the uneven ridges. So that's going to be delicious. That'll be a good one. Again, I'm catching this perfect. Beautiful mushroom. So while I was harvesting these Neolintus ponderosas, I looked over and I noticed there's something over here. I can't tell what it is. I'm gonna go and explore. Oh, nothing. It's a rock. Okay, I noticed right across here, it looks like there's another king mushroom. Bletus atlas, look at that. Oh yeah, this is a perfect, perfect size. So delicious too. Look at that. That is a button pushed up from all this rain. Oh, that one is gorgeous. Look at that base. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, that is a beautiful mushroom. Oh, look at that. That is a, just a picture perfect. Bletus atlas. Oh, that's going to be delicious. This is, out of all the Bletus atlas I found, this may be the one in the most perfect condition. Look at that. That is gorgeous. There's some more coral uh, fungi. There's a coral mushroom that's a little more mature. Look at it push up through, through the soil. That's what it looks like. Okay, there's something up here. I can see it from clear down here. It looks like a bleedus atlas. Let's see if it is. Oh yes, definitely a Bletus atlas. Nice, beautiful. Love finding these. This looks like it might be another one. Oh yes, absolutely it is. There's another one, beautiful. All right, so I'll be sure not to make this mistake. See this mushroom it has a top that looks very similar to the Bletus atlas I've been harvesting. But if I flip it over, you can still see that they are uh, gills that are there. This is not an agaric. Uh, this is something you don't want to eat. I don't know what it is, but it's not one that I'm going to collect and I don't believe it's edible. So just be super careful. Make sure you are collecting the right thing when you're out looking for mushrooms. That could be a horrible mistake. Fun little fact, 
This white flower, it's called yarrow. And if you pull it up and shake it, see those pink roots right there? You can chew on those and it'll make your tongue numb. It's a little bit of an antiseptic anesthesia in there. It's a natural anesthesia. And, uh, and anyway, um, it is edible. So if you want a, a, a numb tongue, then you can pull the yarrow plant and eat that little root right there, the pink ones. You don't want to eat the other ones, but eat the pink ones. Those are the fresh ones. That's the ones that make your tongue, tongue go numb. Here's a buck skull. Antler's still attached. Just walking through here, and look what I found. There's another Bolita Sedalus. Woohoo, that's a good one. Boy, I'm finding some fun ones. All right, let me harvest this thing. Looks like maybe something was nibbling on it. Look at that. You know, whenever I'm mushroom hunting, I'm always looking for dirt that's pushed up. That's a huge sign that uh, mushroom is coming up. And I've seen quite a few today uh, where the mushroom has pushed the dirt up. This is a prime example. See, and this looks like it's gonna be another bleed of saddle. It's just a button. But look at that. Look how it's pushed that dirt up. This does look like it's another bleed of saddle. So let's see. Oh yeah, it is can tell just by feeling it look at that beauty absolute beauty and I got it nice and young you can see the gills are still super white got the striations right here that and the uh, bulbousness of it is a dead giveaway beautiful uh, uh, bleedus atlas king mushroom well it is almost time to go just need to wrap this up and look at that. There is another one. Oh, that's a huge one. Hope it's uh, okay to eat still. That is massive. Holy cow. Okay, let's see how big this thing is. This thing looks huge. Oh, that's huge. Look at that. Can't even get it in all the way in. There we go. That is huge. Holy heck. Just found a few more chanterelles. Look at those that look kind of insignia. One there, one there. One over there. And one over there. And I saw a couple up the road a little bit too. You can see this is super mushroomy in here. Earlier in the day, I'd mentioned that there are at least two different kinds of bleedus atlas out here. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they uh, have a slightly different name, but uh, here in Utah, on the mushrooms of Utah, and and uh, in general, people call them both bleedus atlas. And let me just show them to you. This is one of them. I did. I did break this one in half, but you can see how yellow that, or her brown that top is, how yellow that is right there, and that skinnier stem right there. See, and that's that's one of the, uh, but one of the things that's so different about these other Belita satellites. But that is definitely a choice, uh, yummy, delicious mushroom. Now, if I take one of these, for example, this one here, so you can see the difference. Notice how how round that, uh, the how bulbous the uh, stem is on that one and uh, you know this was this one's young obviously Let's see if I can get in the shade so the lighting's a little bit better yeah, and there's that's white there but uh, the tops are very similar uh, but the stems and the bottoms are quite different and my guess is these are two uh, different species um, uh, both considered bleedless edilis by the mushroom uh, society by the mushroom uh, community is what I should say. 
and uh, both of them are absolutely delicious. But these, you know, this is a perfect example of of, uh, of the reason why I say that there's a, a likely different species that are out there. So anyway, uh, if you find either of them, then uh, you've got a yummy meal. Just wanted to thank you for watching today's episode. It, today was absolutely epic. Found so many mushrooms. I, I found hundreds and hundreds of mushrooms today. Uh, the moisture this last week is really pushing them up. This area, I think, had some good moisture even before uh, this last week, but this last week really got them going. And uh, I think that for the rest of this month, you probably can find tons of mushrooms here. I, I, I was looking at the weather forecast and it looks like we got some more rain coming later in the week um, yeah, here in four or five days or so so um, there's uh, there's definitely a great possibility that there's going to be tons of mushrooms here through the month of August and I'm I'm going to tell you something okay so I've decided to cut the audio section out of this specific section of my video due to controversy I had a mushroom hunter that lives not too far from this particular area message me multiple times and even tried to call me and he was super super upset with me that I had offered too much information about this specific location. I have many subscribers reaching out to me for help and I had offered to share this location with people who are willing to support me and my YouTube channel. I'm considering making a video to debate this topic specifically. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, it, it's an amazing spot. I can't believe how mushroomy this place is. It's this has been my favorite mushroom trip of the year. I I love finding the morels, and I found a lot of morels this year, but this one was special, just because of the variety of mushrooms that I found. And and king mushrooms are yeah them and the morel are my two favorite mushroom. They're right there at the top, and I found a ton of of uh, king mushrooms today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and thanks again for uh, watching. Uh, today's episode uh, i'm so excited to uh, get out here and do this again and we'll see you in the next episode thank you again for watching